it looks here on the back of the ticket that Nile Air flies from Egypt to Sudan, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Kuwait, Iraq, and Turkey. Uh, so, yeah, it's not like you're going to be flying Nile Air every day. So we're about to board. We're at Cairo International Airport. If you didn't see how I got here, you can look at my previous video. But today we're gonna fly Nile Air from Cairo to Hurghada, two of Egypt's busiest airports. So join me as we uh, look for where to go. You can see Nile Air's presence. It's an airline that I'd never even heard of before I came to Egypt. It's supposed to be an A321, so we'll see how it goes. Apparently I was standing in the wrong line. We have to go to Departure Heart Hall 2. I, uh, you know, I'm running out of time. I think it's about an hour before the flight and we just rushed to get to the airport. I drove uh, two and a half hours from Alexandria because Egypt Air canceled my flight. So this is the right line. That's the check-in Nile Air to Hurghada. Check out the airplane ticket. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Especially compared to freaking, ah, oh, Egypt Air. Gives, gives me heartburn. Pretty cool shot of the tarmac. Looks like we got some Egypt Air cargo A300s that look uh, like they've seen better days. A couple Air Kairos. Looks like a private A318. Air Arabia over there. I think my jet over there, the Nile Air, is over there. So cool tarmac view here. There are a couple things I'm hoping out of this flight. The first thing is, I hope this flight isn't canceled and it's looking pretty good. Uh, you can't say the same for Egypt Air, who canceled on me this morning and who canceled on a future flight of mine. Um, I'm looking for uh, an on-time flight, which is looking pretty good right now. And I'm looking for, oh, a safe flight where they actually demonstrate the safety procedures of the plane before the plane takes off. So if we're doing the safety procedures on the ground, then that's a win for Nile Air. And uh, clean bathroom, water, a little bit of service, that's, uh, you know, that's all secondary to me because uh, my expectations for any airline in Egypt, thanks to Egypt Air, is very, very low. Anyhow, we're in the waiting area here. And I think it's about 50 minutes before takeoff or 50 minutes before uh, departure. So, wow, we made it. I can't believe we made it. It looks here on the back of the ticket that Nile Air flies from Egypt to Sudan, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Kuwait, Iraq, and Turkey. Uh, so, yeah, it's not like you're going to be flying Nile Air every day. So, in a sense, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited, even though, you know, the airlines of Egypt. Air Cairo, I liked. Check out that review if, it, if you haven't seen it. Egypt Air, man, it took me two flights to realize it, but Egypt Air, what a garbage airline they are. about to board. Yeah. 
All right, straight to the bathroom we go because I need to use the bathroom. You can see, pretty standard. So it's as standard as standard gets. It's not very well maintained, but you know, it's an Egyptian airline. Pretty spacious. So there you have it, it's a bathroom. So let's go check out the seat. The leg room is quite nice. Standard dirty window, leather seats. Generous recline. You get a safety card and an air sickness bag. They're about to do the safety demonstration, and there's no in flight entertainment on this plane, so they have to do a manual demonstration, and I'm sure they're going to do it before the plane takes off. Egypt Air because Egypt Air gives the standard bottle of water. Nile Air gives uh, guava juice and a cheesy pate snack. Let's give it a try. So I think it's just cheese bread. So for a 40 minute flight, like it's pretty good. See out there the Gulf of Suez. Somewhere along this coastline, it is said that Moses parted the waters. Did it really happen? Who knows? Especially when compared to Egypt Air. I think the truth is uh, I would try and fly Nile Air every time over Egypt Air. The only problem is Egypt Air is just so much bigger of a company and they have so many more routes. But when they don't even keep their promises and they cancel their flights, you know, maybe it's just better to go out of your way to fly Nile Air. So thank you for watching. Get some shots of the tarmac. Take a look at that beautiful Super 80, that, that DK, I don't know what airline that is, but that's an airplane I want to fly.